Custom checks and controls in Northern Ireland from January 1st. That's what I want to talk about in this video. I'm Mark, greetings from Germany and welcome to my channel. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson and other ministers have repeatedly said there will be no checks and controls in Northern Ireland after Brexit. But the European Commission has told the UK that they must ensure that official border control posts, so-called BCPs, be designated and operational from January 1st, 2021. That always was a part of the withdrawal agreement, just to remind you, ratified by both the EU and the UK. From the end of the year, Northern Ireland will remain in the single market. After the transition period, the rest of the UK will not. As a result, the EU is insisting on a range of controls and inspections on goods moving between Great Britain and Northern Ireland to ensure that they comply with the rules and standards. The British government has now responded by saying they will comply and they will operate the necessary BCPs at ports and airports where goods arrive into Northern Ireland from the rest of the UK. The EU has told the UK government that the BCPs must be of a sufficient size to accommodate VATs and custom officials who will be carrying out the necessary checks and controls. The designated control ports will be installed in the port of Larne, where live animal arrival from the rest of UK are already inspected, the seaports in Belfast and Warrenport, and the two airports in Belfast. The Northern Ireland executive was briefed about that development by officials on Monday, an installment committee was informed about the briefing during a meeting Wednesday afternoon. The British government confirmed that it will urgently put in place detailed plans with the Northern Irish executive, which does include the physical ports of entry. The EU has strict rules for the entry of food products and animals into the single market and insists that such products arriving into EU countries from outside the single market are subject to strict inspections and controls. Implementing these post-Brexit checks on goods crossing the Irish Sea in the middle of the current pandemic is going to be a mammoth task. And many in the transport industry are quite concerned about the astronomical cost of complying with the new regulations following the fallout from the COVID-19 crisis. So far, very little is known about tariffs, formalities and regulations. And the Specialist Joint Committee, which by the way has only met once with the industry so far, really has to clarify and to confirm what is necessary as soon as possible. Many freight companies will really be suffering in the autumn because having to administer new regulations will be difficult and will involve people learning new skills. So far, not even an implementing system has been put in place to allow companies to train staff and incorporate new IT systems. And after this, if you still want to learn a little bit more about European politics from a German point of view, I put you another video here on my end screen. Click and enjoy. I'll see you there. Viel Spaß.